Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove the property that the sum of the eigenvalues of a matrix is the sum of the elements of the principal diagonal. Let's consider a 3 by 3 matrix. It's having 3 rows and 3 columns. Let the matrix A having the elements A11, A12, A13, then A21, A22, A23, then A31, A32, A33. The characteristic equation is determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. So, when we write the determinant value, it is actually A11 minus lambda, then A12, then A13 and A21, then A22 minus lambda, then A23, then A31, A32, then last element is A33 minus lambda. So, we have this determinant equal to 0. On solving this, we get the eigenvalues. So, the roots of this equation is eigenvalues and let the eigenvalues be lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. It will have 3 eigenvalues. So, this determinant on expanding, finally we get factors like lambda minus lambda 1 into lambda minus lambda 2 into lambda minus lambda 3 and which is actually 0. By equating this factor to 0 only, we got the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. Now, we are going to expand this determinant in the usual way. So, from this, we are taking the left hand side. Let us expand the determinant. So, expanding the determinant along row 1. So, we will take the first element A11 minus lambda into, we have to take these four elements. So, that is A22, I will multiply it inside A22 into A33, then minus A22 into lambda. So, I multiplied A22 with both the elements, then minus lambda, we have to multiply. So, minus A33 into lambda, then plus lambda square. And finally, minus A32 into A23. Then, we have to take the second element with minus sign. So, A12, we have to take these four elements. So, A21 into A33 minus A21 into lambda minus A31 into A23. Then last element A13 into A21 into A32 minus A31 into A22. Then minus or minus it become plus. Plus A31 into lambda. From this determinant expansion, we are going to take the coefficient of lambda square. So, here I am going to take the coefficient of lambda square. When this lambda multiplied with this lambda, then this lambda, when I multiplied with this lambda term, we get lambda square term. At the same time, when this A11 is multiplied with this lambda square, we get the lambda square term. So, from all these three terms, I am going to take the coefficients alone. So, minus lambda into this minus m will become positive. So, the coefficient is nothing but a22. Then plus again minus lambda with this negative term will become positive. So, the coefficient is a33. Then a11 with lambda square. So, the coefficient is a11. So, we have taken the coefficient of lambda square. Let us keep this as 1. Now, we are going to work out the right hand side. 
So the right hand side, what we had is the value of the factors by equating to zero, we get the eigenvalues. So after the expansion, we get the factors like lambda minus lambda one, lambda minus lambda two, lambda minus lambda three. This we are going to expand. So let's copy the factors minus of lambda minus lambda one into lambda minus lambda two, then lambda minus lambda three. So let's keep the minus outside and let's keep the first term as it is. Now let's expand this one. So lambda into lambda. This is lambda square minus lambda cube into lambda. Then minus lambda two into lambda. The last term is plus lambda two into lambda three. And now we are going to take the coefficient of lambda square here. When we multiply this lambda with this lambda term and this lambda with this lambda term. And this lambda one with this lambda square term, we get the lambda square term. So if we see the coefficients, lambda into this will give lambda square. We get minus lambda cube as the coefficient of lambda square. Similarly, here it is minus. Sorry, it is lambda three. So it is lambda three. When I multiply lambda one into this, we get minus lambda three. Into lambda square. That is, this lambda term multiplied with this will give minus lambda three into lambda square. So the coefficient is minus lambda three. Similarly, this lambda, when we multiply with this minus lambda two lambda square, so the coefficient of lambda square is minus lambda two. Then, taking this minus lambda one. And multiplying with this, we get the coefficient as minus lambda one. But on the whole, we have there is a minus sign outside. So if we take the minus sign inside of this, we get lambda one plus lambda two plus lambda three. So this let us take it as two. So from one and two, in one we have taken the left hand side of the expression, the coefficient of lambda square, that is. Here, then in the two we have taken the right hand side and we have we have the coefficient of lambda square. So from one and two, both are coefficient of lambda square. So from one and two, equating the coefficient of lambda square of left hand side and right hand side. So in the left hand side, what we have is A two two, A three three, A one one, and here we have lambda one, lambda two, lambda three sum. So we get lambda one plus lambda two plus lambda three equal to, and on the other side it is A one one, A two two, A three three. So sum of A one one, A two two, and A three three. So finally, what we got is lambda one, lambda two, lambda three are The eigen values and the sum of the eigen values is nothing but the sum of a11, a22, a33, which is nothing but the leading diagonal elements. So here we have the leading diagonal elements a11, a22, a33. We got sum of these elements and lambda1, lambda2, lambda3 are the eigen values. So finally, the sum of the Eigen values of a matrix is the sum of the elements of the principal diagonal. Hence, proved.